Oh, The Rings of Power Season 2, because after a first season which felt like getting repeatedly slapped with the Tolkien-sized book of mediocrity, Amazon decided, you know what, let's do it again. This season brings back all the dazzling visuals and bloated budget you'd expect from the most expensive show ever made. And yet, somehow it managed to be emptier than a hobbit's pantry after second breakfast. Let's start with the story or luck thereof. You'd think with all that money they could afford a few competent writers but no, what we get instead is a collection of half-baked plot lines dragging on with the energy of the dead and in the winter. There is so much padding here, I half expected one of the characters to pull out a pillow and take a nap mid-episode. But don't worry, every two minutes we get reminded how epic and important everything is, even though none of it really goes anywhere. Galadriel is back and she is still angry. Why? I have no idea. She got the personality of a block of wood only with more scolding. Somehow the showrunners thought turning one of the Tolkien Vice's most powerful characters into a moody warrior was the way to go. And once again the plot revolves around her making terrible decisions and acting like a least likable person in the middle earth. But hey it's 2024 so strong female lead means emotionally distanced and constantly irritated right? And then there's Sauron who's apparently mad master of art of lurking in the shadows while doing absolutely nothing. Remember when Sauron was terrifying, omnipresent force of evil? Yeah, forget all of that. Now he's basically the middle earth version of a lazy office manager pulling strings from behind the scenes but mostly just waiting. For what? Who knows, maybe for the writers to figure out what the heck they're doing. The Harfoots or their back too, remember them? That discount habit tribe that somehow managed to be both boring and irritating at the same time? Yeah, well, they've got more screen time this season because what this show desperately needed was more wandering around aimlessly in the woods while spouting nonsense about friendship and re destiny, riveting stuff. Visually, it's stunning, I'll give it that, every frame looks like a high budget postcard from Middle Earth, sweeping Vista's grandiose set and CGI so polished it practically screaming, look how expensive I am. But after about 5 minutes of admiring the scenery you realize something is missing. Alright, oh, it's called Subtense. It's like putting a diamond ring on a zombie. Sure, it's shiny, but underneath it's still a rotting corpse. And the dialogue, dear Valar. It's as if the writer spends hours crafting lines designed to sound deep and meaningful but actually say nothing at all. Every conversation feels like a someone's reading off a motivational poster in slow motion. It's all destiny, fate and the darkness rising again. Because when you have nothing interesting to say, just throw in some epic sounding words and hope nobody noticed that the characters are basically repeating the same speech from the last season. Now the action scenes, yup, they are few and they're about as exciting as watching an orc paint a faints. You've got your standard epic battle moments with choreography so stiff you wonder if they shot it using mannequins. There's never any tension because surprise surprise none of the main characters are in any real danger. They've got the plot armor thicker than a Mount Doom's wall. As for the themes, well like last season the show is desperately trying to be relevant and current, tossing in social commentary with all the grace of drunken troll. But instead of feeling profound, it just comes across as a forced distraction, completely at odds with the words Tolkien created. It's like trying trying to force a modern, shallow worldview into a timeless mythical universe and it sticks out like a sore thumb. In conclusion, The Rings of Power Season 2 is beautifully shot, mind-numbingly dull mess. It's got all the spectacle of Middle-earth but none of the soul. It's like the showrunners decided to spend half of a billion dollars on fan fiction and forgot to hire people who can actually understood the sore material. If you're looking for a stunning visuals with absolutely no emotional payoff or engaging narrative then congratulations this is your show. So if you're a fan of slow mindering plots, characters you couldn't care less about and the constant feeling that the Tolkien is rolling in his grave, 
grab a popcorn and enjoy it.